Okay, geniuses, here's the assignment that I gave you, the first page with uh, what the lab is about and the second page with the answer sheet and your task was to try to sequence these photographs that were made from one second of video. I extracted the photographs from the video and the I will look at the answers. Uh, I'll show you the answers. All right, I have the first 12 here. And if you scan from left to right, I think you can see what happened. It's very clear if you have it in the right sequence. I think what's interesting uh, to me is 8, 9, and 10 because the container is, appears to be going up, up, and then it's either stopped going up or it's down just a little bit here, and it's down more here and here, so it's, it's moving downward. So I think one of the most important photographs was nine here, and that might be the uh, epigee or the highest point and now it's coming down. And here's number 13 through 24. And these, these become fairly easy until you get to uh, this region right here. And you have to try to see how much water is visible. So the obvious question is, if you had a uh, choice one, to be shot with a round nose, or choice two to be shot with a hollow point, which would you select? Okay, here is the uh, actual answer key, and this is the solutions for the 24. I just want to make a, a few comments that this is a very limited study, and uh, it only is useful to show uh, a, an outward difference between hollow point and round uh, nose, but it's not necessarily the same. Often a hollow point bullet, the, uh, its Im impact on the uh, target can be affected by clothing, and uh, there, there's a multitude of other factors which prevents the uh, hollow point from spreading and it's actually hydraulic pressure that uh, causes this spreading and to do the damage. Police use hollow points so that the bullets do not go through their target and hit innocent people. In the field of war, however, um, hollow points are not allowed. They use round nose. Um, let's see, one last thing, um, you can pause this to get these numbers down if you care. And I hope you enjoyed this inquiry.